a arena for ages so just jumping in on this uh, 10 minute one I think we're about 20 minutes late or something so we're not looking at any positions let's just have a bit of a practice maybe just play one or two games as we do usually we'll see how we feel so I'm going to grab that's all straightforward at the minute simple enough I'm going to take just keeping it simple like we do and develop the bishop supporting the pawn like we do and that's it now so it all depends now it really this bishop is either coming out somewhere because obviously he wants the castle you'd think okay so do we go on castle straight away or do we bring the bishop out um, let's bring the bishop out develop a few pieces x-ray through to the queen and shall we keep that so we can come here as you know put some pressure here so going to castle king safety has our king got company it's got the bishop as company probably try and swing the knight across to give it some company here so it looks like he's going to be looking to take our bishop off the board anyway so in the meantime let's just develop the knight looks like the knight's going to be taking this pawn here but i don't think that's going to work out for them so maybe they do something else <laughs> to the tip of pawn okay so grab here <laughs> i didn't really think they would but i thought it's got that feel about it because our bishop was there by itself they were thinking that they're going to get my bishop so now they've gone kind of maverick and crazy um it's on our queen and we're probably up pieces aren't we so i'm going to take with the rook well maybe up a pawn yeah so we're up a pawn so i'm looking to exchange now got to try and improve the position so now they're not looking to exchange so they're getting a little bit huffy about the situation going to smaller piece attack a higher piece which is the queen okay so the queen's doing a merry dance and anything else that we can do in the meantime i'm actually going to attack the queen because it's got an x-ray through onto our rook probably looking to do something at some point and yet yeah, they're doing a lot of dancing with their queen we could take this pawn here um, where's their queen going everything else is protected at the minute but it does have a strong x-ray through it's just that there's no piece that can actually come and attack that so i'm actually going to take the pawn off while we're thinking and maybe come back down and attack their queen because their queen is hopefully losing them tempo in terms of developing their other pieces because they're just moving it around okay so the queen now is potentially looking to come here with a check but then we take and then the rook would come down so i'm actually going to challenge the queen like we said just bring it here we're also now attacking this pawn putting a check on the king if need be So the queen does a merry dance again so we can put a check on and actually win the rook as well so going to take the rook off the board with a checkmate because the bishop is blocking the um, king's passage with so that was fairly interesting and um, we talked through each of the movements um uh, throughout that game there it was really about i'm gonna have a look at the analysis on that one because the key thing which I see quite a lot you know I, I try and avoid it myself in my own games is this aspect here of what they visualized potentially was like the knight taking so yes they're winning a pawn um, not at this point though no, it was uh, a bit later on okay so around about here and then they took so they're believing that because they've got the queen behind that their bishop is going to actually end up taking the bishop for free which is kind of false because we can take back and we're actually on a higher piece so that wins us that momentary tempo so then they go a little bit kamikaze thinking right okay they're going to attack our queen so we're attacking their queen so we can actually take that off the board and we're going to be up a pawn at this stage and i'm happy with our position if i wasn't happy with the position i would have um just taken his queen off the board and would have gone for an exchange that way let's see how that would have looked uh, so if we take and then if they take then we can bring our bishop back 
taking yep I'm assuming that might be wrong though that I don't know could take and then his knight escapes because he's on our rook attacking the pawn yep so maybe they uh, come here they attack the pawn don't need to do anything there. Right, just take it a little bit steady I think this one we played the last one a little bit fast I think it's because I was a little bit excited I'm you know I've not played an arena for ages I've done loads of practice sessions um, but not to this sort of extent of being in the arena and what do we want to do shall we develop the bishop out This is a bit slower paced, okay. So I think in this arena, it's a 10 minute arena. I think it's on for an hour. You probably only get about three games in there anyway. Well, maybe three and a half. <laughs> okay, so this player's taking the time, looking to come down, potentially attacking the bishop, maybe. And, so we're going to lock in our bishop if we just bring the pawn up yeah okay so we move the bishop anyway i'm going to do a bit of a preemptive maneuver they may still push down anyway so do we still consider going kingside castling sometimes it's okay castling into the into the tornado if you like because the tornado usually fizzles out sometimes before it actually gets to your your castle okay so i'm going to try and open up the dark square bishop looking to attack the bishop maybe it does have a check on the king but that's being blocked off so let's attack the bishop probably just goes back because he's got safety with the rook so it's all simple stuff based on I mean the recent tutorials that we've done we've revisited the beginner intermediate and the advanced tutorials uh, just to see if everything is still the same and it is pretty much the same and keeping those basic concepts uh, within my game especially is helping me to solidify um, the areas where I need to work on so we've covered all the kinds of things that I've found within my own game and what I've worked on but it always comes back to the answer process always comes back to the information that we provided within the tutorials um, those concepts are holding true simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically Okay, so we do have a little touch here, but because he's got one and he's got two there, we have to be mindful of that. So we could go and castle. I'm just castling, and if the tornado wants to come down, then hopefully we can weather the storm. Do have sights of coming here. Should be developing the knight to, to do something appropriate. I mean, coming here would help support this attack here. So I'm going to actually push through here first and uh, <clears throat> just probably going to get my queen across here. If not, we'll push on to their queen. It's a bit annoying though because the head of the snake just falls, doesn't it? But sometimes it gives them something to think about. To get this out and then put some pressure on this pawn if we can. It's not castled yet, so it looks like they're going to go castle queen side. But we're trying to give them something to think about. Queen's move because it doesn't want to play any of that sort of game. So let's just bring the knight here and then go for the potential attack here as well. While they go queenside castling. It's not saying any of this is like fundamentally right or correct but it it feels right for me like we keep saying it's got to feel good for you it's gone kingside castling okay so we do have options of doing all sorts of stuff let's just then um, push continue that attack process <clears throat> this one doesn't feel too good because it's got options 
whereas this one has only got one oh let's take this off the board okay I mean that ooh doesn't mean anything either you know ooh it doesn't mean I've got anything it's not sewn up at all and we could take the pawn or we could maybe maybe we're supposed to take this but the knight's just going to be here then it'll be on our queen so I'm going to take here and we probably need to get the rooks involved maybe this rook involved I'm actually going to get this rook involved why obviously because the queen is opposite knight's protecting at the moment Queen's moved off of the line, so we can take. Knight takes, and then it's on our queen, but then we're on his. Yeah, so let's see. Can we move our queen first? I think he's just going to simply take the pawn, isn't he? Knight can come here and attack his queen. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. It's also attacking the pawn, so we've got like a three on one on this pawn. Yep, I thought they would do the same thing. You know, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Can't be wrong, can it? So, if we take, he takes, he's on our rook. If I move my queen, we've still got the three on one, but then he attacks. If I bring the queen here, then they can't come and attack. Where does his knight? His knight's got a check. So now it's got a check but the queen can take so i'm going to bring the queen here if they lose themselves don't forget the queen can take the knight because that's a nice position it's got fork on the queen king and the rook i think the pawn's just going to take though we do have a two on one with the knight and the queen So the pawn does take, so I'm simply taking here just to be on. Okay, so the knight takes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's go here because the knight still got this square. So if we just support here, but then his pawn's coming down anyway. So he's going to champion this square. So do we bring the king here to take it off of that line? I think we lose out a little bit there, you know. Now that the mist is clearing up, I think. Ooh, okay, maybe we might have got out of it. Knight can attack, but then he's going to have the on both our knights. Our knight is safe here. This one's coming round. Let's. Cause shall we just go? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look what he's looking for. Do we go up and attack a pawn to get it out of this? Um, vicious loop that they're actually getting try and go for a back ranker I don't think we're going to get there but the attempt is good enough oh yes he's got a nice little situation going here attacking the pawn here with the knight oh we don't like that and this yeah he's waiting for that waiting for that Damn, so if we come here, defending, but I don't really want to do that. What can my knights do? Can my knights be scary? If I come here and attack his pawn, I'm giving him space down here, but this knight can take. It's just that he's got this, look at these knights, they're just managing this, this square here. Is that causing me a lot of bother or not? Let's see a smaller piece attacking his. No, shall we just move the knight? move it to do, 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 do. if we move it to here uh, then we can go here attacking the king king just moves though or maybe we attack his rook oh this doesn't feel too healthy now okay I'm gonna move the knight I thought we had something a little bit going on here, but now the magic of the knights is giving, it looks like it's giving them a lot more strength than what I've got. So we're, in a, in a sense, we've, oh, what's happening here? So if we go here, then we go here, 
and we might lose our night you know uh, I think we're, gonna, we're not going to win that are we we might lose this night oh I, don't, I think I've done it wrong he takes and then if I take then he takes our night here so I would have lost both nights oh maybe I shouldn't have gone up there oh that's drastic oh I've messed it up I'm going to have to attack his knight it's not going to make much difference yeah I'm going to have to attack his knight I trapped my own knight getting a little bit overzealous Yeah, I'm going to lose this, I need to move it. Well, it looks like we're giving them something to think about as well. I mean, we're both in a little bit of a pickle, I think. Their pickle's better. Oh, no, he's coming. Oh, that's nice. Shall we take this one? For free. Oh, hey, magic. Does that mean something though? I mean, he's got the check on my king still. Is there some magic whirlwind night thing? There is, isn't there? I've fallen for it, Anna. He gets the rook back somehow, check on my king. That's the thing he's coming down for. Where do I go with it? I don't really want to go here, do I? Yeah, yeah, he's come for it. So if we go here, where does he go? I feel like I'm... I don't think we want to go back here because this pawn's going to push down. But it might be a blocker stopping his rook from getting into some action. He might move his knight to put a check on here. Oh, come on. I'm going to get squished down now with the knights. I can feel it in the water. Oh, I'm giving him all of this. I should have just gone here maybe. Mmm, sad time, sad. Yeah, look, he's got it all sewn up. I'm going to lose my rook. Oh, taking his time. Oh, shabby. Um, anything else that I can see that he can get? He's got my... He took that quick, didn't he? Shall we attack his knight? X-ray through. No, we can't X-ray. Attack his knight. Attack the pawn. Just attack the pawn. Oh, it's funky nights. Oh. So they're in a line, but he can do something. Has he got a check on me? Has he got a check on me? Oh, he's got a check on me. I don't believe it. Oh, I don't be do I go up or come here? Because if I go up. got my knight can you believe this come on in the dying seconds there's no increment he's finding good stuff man is it checkmate no not yeah can he take bump yep there this one maybe mind you one of the knights is going isn't it and it doesn't have a check well this is a check on the king but he just loses the knight so one of the knights is going unless of course he's trying to get my rook with one of his knights can his knight get my rook oh so we can come down and take but they've put a lot of thought in that is there a check on my king oh there's a check on my king hold on before I go running there I take the knight, he comes here with a check on my king, I can't go down because his rook is blocking, so if I went here, is he putting more checks on me, I go there, uh, I don't think he is is he, okay let's give it a try anyway, 
Let's give it a try. Is this a headache? He's like the check master. Putting checks everywhere. So he's coming here. We go here. Unless, of course, he doesn't do that yet. And puts his king there first so that then I can't go there. So if he goes there, I'm going to have to go with my rook with a check on. Or I can push, push, push. Just put, oh, he's gone for it. What have I missed? In my calculation, he has no more checks on me. The rook's not coming up, but oh, damn it. His rook can come here. But then he still can't put in a check on here. His king is hiding away, so we need to get some work done. Well, let's just attack this knight. So he's made space now for us to put a check on his oh, on his king. Has he got my rook? Has he got my king? No, there's no checks on my king. No. Oh, this must be close to the... Knight up. Knight up to go across, to go here. Oh, there's only five minutes left of the arena. There's definitely no checks here. I don't like this knight at all. This knight is really bugging me. It's on my rook. It's got a double dose there coming for my rook on this side. Oh, for a shine on Harvey Moon. If we go here, his king comes across for our... And then he's going to get our rook off the board. Oh, I don't believe it. We go there. His king moves and attacks the knight. So then we move up to protect, but then he comes down and he's got a fork on my rook. So I'm going to have to move the rook, aren't I? To here. Oh, he's got my rook. Oh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> That's why I couldn't do Oh, he's not seen it. Although he's got, a, he's got, he's got a checker meter. Oh my gosh, he didn't do it. Oh, he maybe don't have to do it. Oh, what have I done? Move the king. Move the king. <laughs> That's funny. I'm losing time. Move the king. Rook takes. But then he's on my rook anyway, isn't he? So if I if I did put my check on, he moves his king up, move up here, his rook puts a check on. It's not a check a meter, is it? No. Let's just do a check first. The it might look different. Uh, something must be good for me here. Come on. He's stopping my king from moving. Not really. Shit, I've just given up the knight. <gasps> what, I'm in panic mode now. I, oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm in some strange panic mode. 52 seconds. Oh my life. How weird is that? It's 8 seconds. Four seconds. What did I just do? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>
Oh, we won on time. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting. That was so bad. <laughs> oh, crack is sick.